Welcome to Module 2 in the History of Chocolate. In this module, we will examine the Mesoamerican origins of chocolate. Mesoamerica, cultural region of Central and South America, extending from modern-day Mexico to northern Costa Rica. It is in this region of the world that the cacao tree was first domesticated and chocolate produced, thousands of years ago by the civilizations of Mesoamerica. In your readings, you will be introduced to several of these civilizations, such as the Olmec, the Azapen, Mayan, and eventually the Aztecs. All of these civilizations were complex city-based societies that existed in the time before first contact with Europeans. In this module, we will discuss several key elements which you will need to understand in order to appreciate how chocolate first came to be. The first important concept is understanding how the Americas were first colonized by humans and how these societies eventually became isolated from the rest of the world. The second important concept is the domestication of plants and agriculture, crucial human inventions which completely changed the way we live and even the planet itself. Although many aspects of human evolution remain mysterious, there is now much we can say with confidence due to the work of scientists over the past century. In particular, since the advent of DNA research, we are now in a position to understand how human beings came to populate the Earth. We as a species, and I mean every human being on the planet, trace our origins to one place, Africa. It was in Africa that we first evolved into human beings. It was in Africa that we first mastered the use of fire and tools. Sometime around 150,000 years ago, we had become biologically modern humans. For all intents and purposes, we were us, modern humans. And yet we had not left Africa. For reasons unknown, perhaps to do with climate change, sometime around 120 and 80,000 years ago, we began to leave Africa and spread out all over the planet. Within just a few thousand years, we had already spread to Australia, which would have required our human ancestors to have built boats. By 50,000 years ago, we were in Europe. Between 30,000 and 40,000 years ago, we were colonizing the rest of Asia. Only one major area of the world lay untouched, the Americas. How the Americas eventually became populated with human beings has been a subject of fierce debate. This is also a subject of history, which is continually being revised based upon new discoveries and research. Here is what we can tentatively say so far. Based upon DNA research, every single native person of North and South America traces their genetic lineage to an East Asian people, which split from the rest of the Asian population sometime around 25 to 30,000 years ago. During this time, the last ice age was in its final stages and the world was a very cold place. In fact, a massive ice sheet covered much of the northern half of the planet. At the time, the continents of North America and Asia were joined by a land bridge, which scientists have called Beringia. In what was likely several waves of migration, the ancestors of all Native Americans crossed into the untouched continents, some likely by boat along the coast, others big game hunters following the herds of animals through cracks in the ice. As the ice age ended, the water levels rose, and the land bridge linking Asia and North America was lost forever. From this point onward, the populations of the Americas were isolated from the rest of the world. This meant that they were isolated from both technological and cultural developments of the old world, as well as the biological exchange of diseases. This isolation would prove to be hugely important for the subsequent history of the region. Now the second important concept to understand is the development of agriculture. For almost the entire history of human beings, we have lived as hunters and gatherers. That is, we hunted for our food and gathered what wild plants we could to survive. Now we had to move around a lot, following herds of animals and moving on when we had exhausted the local food supply. However, about 10,000 years ago, in the Old World, specifically a part of the modern-day Middle East, which scientists have dubbed the Fertile Crescent, human beings invented agriculture. They had learned to domesticate plants, 
That is, to breed them so that they are tastier, more nutritious, and easier to grow than their wild ancestors. Old world crops such as wheat and barley became staples of new farming societies. Human beings, now no longer needing to follow herds of animals, could settle down and eventually build cities. This invention of agriculture would spread like wildfire through the old world, changing the way humans lived almost everywhere. Almost everywhere, that is, except for the Americas, which were cut off from these developments. However, sometime slightly later, agriculture was independently discovered by Native Americans. Sometime between 8,000 and 2,000 years ago, farming societies in Mesoamerica had developed based on New World domesticated crops, such as corn, tomatoes, and peppers. These are plants which are native to the Americas and which were unknown in the rest of the world. One of those New World crops was also the cacao tree. In your readings in this module, you will learn how the Mesoamerican civilizations first domesticated the cacao tree and the different ways they used the beans it produced. Sometime around 1800 years ago, chocolate was born. The earliest evidence we have for any use of the cacao plant, and perhaps even chocolate, predates even the earliest city-states, nearly 4,000 years ago, based on chemical analysis of ancient pottery shards. All the major Mesoamerican civilizations that followed made use of chocolate. First the Olmec, followed by the Azapan, and the Mayans. The Mayans in particular were hugely important and flourished with city-states, complex art, and magnificent architecture. They dominated Mesoamerica from 250 AD until their mysterious downfall in the 9th century. However, we know the most about the civilization that followed the Mayans, the Aztecs. The Aztecs were fierce warriors from the north. In the late Middle Ages, they rose into a powerful empire, conquering those around them. We know the most about them since they were in control of much of Central America when Christopher Columbus first arrived from Europe, introducing the Old World to the New. In the years that followed, the Spanish wrote down a lot about these people, and in particular, their love of a bitter drink made from the cacao plant, chocolate. A drink the Aztecs reserved only for the upper classes and the warriors. A drink which they flavored in numerous ways, everything from chili peppers to vanilla. Many years later, the Europeans would begin to flavor their own version with a product from the old world, namely cane sugar. 